Hello everyone, we're here with another string review and playtest. Today we'll be talking about Vocal Cyclone. I accidentally threw away the packet. I searched for like 30 minutes, found about 100 other string packs, couldn't find it, must have tossed in the garbage. So instead what I have is like this prototype string. This is not Vocal Cyclone, but I'm trying to keep my thumbnails consistent. And obviously that's now been broken. This is just some random prototype string. No idea what it is, what the brand is. I know it's a polyester and it's black, so that's close enough to Vocal Cyclone. Worth noting at the beginning of this video that I did play test the black version of Cyclone. And what I've read online is that the black and the yellow version play very differently with the yellow version being like even softer than the black, which I think that uh, all things considered, Cyclone's actually a pretty soft polyester string. So, and this is the black version I use. So I'd imagine that the yellow is like even softer, maybe a little more powerful, um, you know, a little easier on the arm, all that, all that stuff. But what do you need to know about this string? Um, I do think it lives up to the hype that you'll read online about it. Is it a string for everyone? No, but why I think it gets hyped up so much is because a lot of the people who are play testing it, a lot of the people that are reviewing it are somewhere in between like that three, five to four, five range where they benefit from a polyester string, but not a super duper stiff, like ultra control type string, say like RPM blast. For me personally, the way I swing, doesn't mean that it's right or wrong or that I'm any better or any worse. The way I just like wail at the ball without any uh, control, without any regard, I think that I would prefer, and I do prefer RPM Blast to Cyclone. But what I would say is if you're in that three, five, four, five range, you're not taking like the biggest swing of all time, but you do still go for a lot of spin. You do still get under the ball. Um, Cyclone is kind of like that perfect polyester for you. And that's why it's uh, so hyped up online. You know, the average player is going to benefit from it. If you're way above that, if you're way below that, you're probably not. And you're going to want to like, you know, either go to a multi-filament if you're down below, or you're going to go to a more control oriented string up above. Now, my one criticism, and this might just be something that was weird, happened to me, uh, you know, I'll have to wait for some feedback in the comment section, is when I do a string review, I string up the racket, and then within two hours, I try to play with it. So I can like give you guys accurate feedback of what it's like right off the stringer. And this string felt really weird. It felt like sticky. When I played with it initially, I just absolutely hated it. And so I pulled it out of the bag. I played with it for 20 minutes. I was like, what is all this hype about? This string is terrible. I get the most weird response off the string bed. Like it's playing okay, but I don't know why people love this so much put it in the bag, I came back to it the next day and it was totally fine. So I think what that tells me is that there is a break in process and if you are to receive this string, let's say you go and get your racket strung, you might wanna smack it, you know, smack the racket on your hand a bunch of times on each side, put in your bag and then come and play with it like the following day and not try to use it maybe right off the stringer. Again, that might just be something that was weird with me. I'm not saying everybody's gonna have that experience, but I did. The following day when I pulled it back out. I was pleasantly surprised. It was much better. It had settled in and it pretty much did what you're going to read online. Um, a lot of extra spin. Uh, you know, it feels pretty good. Mm, power's fine. And for $8 or $9, there's really not that much to complain about. So again, what I would say is three, five, four, five player. Um, if you're kind of going into that like entry level for polyester strings, this is a great one to try out. And I don't say that about all the polyester strings. This one would be a great first time poly, or if let's say you're transitioning from like a hybrid and you want to try full poly, this is a good string to test out. Um, if it's really cold or something, you know, you might want to have uh, one racket in the bag that has that hybrid setup with a poly and a multi, and then maybe have this one for those warmer days or when you're playing inside and the ball's flying a bit more, I think that would be a really good solution for a lot of players. So Focal Cyclone, it's a good string. Um, I wouldn't say it's the greatest string for me personally, but for a lot of players, it's going to be. The decline of the string is gradual, so there's not that sudden drop off like you have with Alu Power, which is both a good and a bad thing. Good in that you can continue to play with it and it's not gonna be obvious to you that the string is like falling off and performing poorly. However, uh, once the string broke, and I actually did play with this one until it broke, which is rare for me, I pulled out a racket that was freshly strung and it was like, oh my gosh, this is a night and day difference. You know, This new one feels so much better. So something to be aware of, something to be careful 
careful about. Don't leave it in for too long, but you can play with it longer than I'd say most polyester strings, which adds to that great value that this string is. It is a value for money string that for a lot of players is gonna perform better. It's gonna suit your game style better than an RPM blast or you know one of the more expensive high performance polys out there. This is not a high performance string in that I don't think you're gonna see too many like professionals trying to play with it. High level college players aren't gonna be using this. They're gonna need something that's like a little stiffer that has that little bit more control. But again, for your um, player that's an intermediate, advanced intermediate playing with modern strokes, this is a great string and one that you definitely should try out. Thanks for watching and I'll be back with another string review and play test very soon. Take care.